South Africa has celebrated a tumultuous 21st birthday. It's been marred by xenophobic attacks and student protests over the lack of transformation at universities. Uh, the country is also facing major economic challenges and black South Africans remain marginalized with economic participation a far cry from reality. I'm joined by a Finwick journalist, Bhutle Ndweni, to discuss the lack of economic transformation. Bhutle, thanks for your time. This is this week's cover story, very topical. Uh, would you say that South Africa is uh, at a boiling point of tension? Uh, the issues around xenophobic attacks, uh, the frustration that we are seeing with the youth. Uh, your point, uh, your take on this? Yeah. Um South Africa at a boiling point, definitely, yes. Um, the protests are valid. Um, you, you see UCT, um, the movement that they have with the roads must fall. Um, the fact that there are black professionals out there, but you, you get to a university like UCT and you're not seeing the, the transformation happen there. And then we also, like you mentioned, um, see the xenophobic attacks. Um, minority of South African population, but it is talking to something that is relevant to them. Um, they look around, they don't have jobs. You know, in, in, in this democracy, it's been 20 years down the line of 21 years, but unemployment has actually increased instead of de decreasing. So it speaks to what the young people out there are concerned about, and they are frustrated. So that's why you're getting them um, expressive frustration out there as they have been doing. When you've been covering the story, were there, any, uh, were there any suggestions on how South Africa can go about fixing this problem? Um, I think one of the things with, was that they have to stop looking at the orthodox um, economic path that they're looking at, look at um, the comparative advantage that South Africa has to other co economies and maybe introduce labor intensive um, ways in which people, they can create employment for young people. But also I think on the other end it was what can business actually do mm. in order to create more jobs for people. So I think it's not just to be left to government, but also to the business fraternity out there in terms of determining what is it that they're doing in order to improve or create more jobs for the youth. Abutle, thank you so much.